The Parsha Podcast. Episode Sukkis with Weapons. I'm so excited. Sukkis is here. I love Sukkis, especially the part where we all get to sit together in the sukkah. Yup, and the sukkahs are just like army tents. We can show everyone that we're real Tzivus Hashem soldiers. You know, we talk all the time about us being in the army and how we're battling the Itzahara and stuff, but real armies have weapons, like guns and grenades and missiles. I think we should get that stuff. What are you saying? Yassi, we're in Hashem's army. Exactly, army. Armies need weapons to fight, right? How about I bring in a professional weapon maker to make us some real... What? But in Tzimtz Hashem, we don't use that stuff to fight. We don't need... Yesi, why did you start calling? We didn't all agree on a guest yet. Shh! Mimi, the guest is already answering. We might just have to join Yesi for this one. Elad, the professional weapon maker. Welcome to our Parsha podcast. And thank you for joining us today. Thank you very much for hosting me. I'll get straight to business. We're in an army, so we need stuff to fight with. Can you tell us what the best weapons are? We're not just in any army. We're in Hashem's army, the best army in the world. Wow, wow, we were at Tzivot Hashem. Wow, you kids are my heroes. Wait, what are you needing weapons for? Fighting the Itzahara, but... Ha ha ha, you're joking, right? You don't need my silly weapons to fight him. My weapons hurt people. But you, you have the best weapons of all, Torah and Mitzvot. Yes, exactly. Can you please convince Yossi of this? I mean, I don't know who he's planning on shooting anyway. Kid, listen. You just finished a huge battle. The Aserati made Shuva. That was one tough fight against the Yetzer Hara. But are you all knowing who won? See, that's another reason why we need our kind of weapons. To show who won. In regular armies, when they win... They march proudly and hold their weapons up high in the air. It's a victory sign. We need something to hold up and show that we won too. But, but, do we win? How do we even know if we won? Chayal, on Sukkot, we are showing the whole world that we are victorious. We are proudly holding up our weapons for everyone to see. Sivot Hashem has risen above the Yetzer Hara as the victors. After having done a complete tshuva and being forgiven by Hashem, you are all tzaddikim. So, we do need your weapons to show everyone that we won? No, you don't need them at all. You already have the best victory sign. You'll all go into the sukkah and hold them up high. I'm talking about the lulav and etrog. Oh, oh, that's why an esrog looks like a grenade and a lulav like a sword or a gun or something? You mean because they attack the Yitzhahara? Yes! Torah and Mitzvahs are our weapons against the Yitzhahara. We fight them with the best weapons of all. Weapons that don't hurt anybody, but make the world a better place. I love being in Hashem's army. So Chayalim, think about it. Why is Tzivot Hashem the bestest army, and Torah and Mitzvot the bestest weapons? And that's another fabulous episode of the Parsha Podcast. Elad, thank you for joining us. We'll be sure to think the question over. See you all next week.